Good evening, and welcome to this premiere episode of Hexbreaker, a video series where I play through the Circle and Dun storyline for Arkham Horror the Card Game. Now joining us on this adventure are two very brave investigators. We have Jenny Barnes, who was introduced to us in the Dunwich Legacy storyline for the card game. And we now have Patrice Hathaway, who has just been brought to us by the Dream Eaters storyline. I'm really excited to try out this pair of uh, this pair of investigators, and we'll uh, we'll see what they can do as they um, go slay witches in the Circle Undone. So we're going to begin with part one, the Witching Hour. The Witching Hour begins in Independence Square, which is a um, I guess a, a a central gathering area for um, in in Arkham City, and. Uh, Patrice is um, out, night, out at night on a breezy November evening, taking a stroll alone. It's a perfect night for a walk through Independence Square, or, show, or so she had thought up until the moment when Anna Caslow offered to tell her her fortune. She agreed, though she would soon come to regret this decision. For each of the cards the Romani soothsayer draws from her deck, she weaves a tale of despair and misfortune. Judgment, Temperance, Justice, The Hermit, The Hanged Man, The Hierophant, The Lovers, The Chariot, The Wheel of Fortune. To complete her tale, Anna draws the top card and lays it in the center of the formation. Dominating the old worn card is the ominous image of a towering construct of black onyx. A hellish storm rages over the tower, lightning coursing through the dark clouds. The card reads... The Tower 16. Even if the rest of the reading had gone swimmingly, the sight of the center card would have sent a shiver down Patrice's spine. As it stands now, it feels more like the closing of a casket over her body. You did tell me to give it to you straight, the soothsayer says. She sits cross-legged in front of Patrice, wearing a stony, grim expression. From her unwavering gaze and her cold eyes, Patrice can tell that Anna derives no satisfaction from this reading. Simple misfortune is the least of your concerns, Anna explains. This is a matter of life and death. She motions to the cards surrounding the tower, each of them laid in the reverse position and stares at them intently. A raid against you is everything that you cannot see. You alone stand in their way, she says enigmatically. So Patrice has to make a decision. Um, she either can, uh, she either can um, ask what she can do to avoid this fate, or she can, I guess, uh, brush off the soothsayer's readings. Now, it's my understanding from Patrice's background that she seems like very much like a, a pretty superstitious type. She knows that there are forces beyond this world, and um, that, t that tells me that when she uh, when she hears a card reading like this, uh, especially with uh, from a, a soothsayer that's being uh, very serious about it, she would probably uh, she'd probably take it seriously and ask what she can do to avoid this fate. Anna nods and draws the top card of the deck with a steady hand, revealing it to Patrice without looking at it herself. Depicted on the card is a single wooden wand surrounded by a pattern of broken stained glass. The card reads Ace of Rods. You must be ready to act, Anna advises, without hesitation, without regret. When the opportunity arises, you must set into motion the events that will change this fate. Okay, so this means that uh, Patrice's deck is going to start off with some additional components. And our uh, chaos bag here is going to start off with a couple of tablets. Okay, so Patrice's deck, we're going we're gonna to be adding an additional copy of the tower and a copy of Ace of Rods uh, to Patrice's deck here. And since she's a pretty new investigator, I'd like to just um, go over her abilities real quick here. So Patrice, uh, she's a really interesting one. Um, she has seven health, seven sanity, and um, her stat line is a little on the weak side. It only, she only has 10 points spread amongst her willpower, lore, combat, and agility, where the um, typical investigator has 12. So Patrice, is, um, she has a five card maximum hand limit, but she basically, she refills it. You know, she, she dumps her non-weakness cards out of her hand and refills her hand back up to five cards uh, every turn. So this is going to be a, a, a really interesting um, dynamic here where she's just going to draw a lot. Uh, her signatures are 
Her, her signature cards are her violin. Uh, her violin lets her um, turn extra cards in her hand into resources, or she can uh, have Jenny draw a card as well. Um, and her weakness is also very interesting. Uh, watch her from another dimension. So this, so this weakness, um, when Patrice gets it, it stays in her hand, which means it blocks up her card draw every turn. And she can actually uh, fight or evade it um, while it's sitting in her hand. And if she succeeds, it'll uh, she'll be able to discard it. But if she fails in a, a fight or evade check, and those difficulties are five, they're pretty nasty, then uh, it'll get spawned engaged with her. Um, I guess that means Jenny can help out if it spawns engaged with her. Uh, so the bad news, though, is that if she runs out of her, if her deck runs out, then um, the Watcher is going to attack her, so dealing three damage, which is quite a bit. Okay, so that's um, Patrice Hathaway here. Um, Okay, uh, Jenny. Uh, Jenny signatures. Um, yeah, Jenny's a pretty uh, generalist uh, character. She's a rogue with access to uh, tons of rogue cards and just a splash of cards from uh, other classes. She has three stats across the board, and has a um, slightly advantageous uh, health, uh, health and sanity compared to your typical investigator. So she collects lots of resources, which means we're going to be playing some expensive things. Um, so her signatures. We've got twin forty fives, which is a uh, pretty styling if I say so myself. Um, she's just going to be able to dump lots of resources into ammo, and she can use those ammo to uh, fight monsters. She also is, uh, Jenny's backstory is that she's looking for Izzy, and Izzy's her, uh, her younger sister who um, disappeared while she was away. And um, what this means is that, uh, you know, most scenarios she's going to have to uh, go find a, uh, find a location to look for, uh, look for Izzy's trail. Okay, so let's uh, shuffle these into Jenny's deck. All right, so let's go to the scenario here. Okay, we've set things up here. Oh, we're not done yet. All right, so back to Patrice. Silence hangs in the air as Patrice peers into the tower card. The world around her dissolves into emptiness as her eyes fixate on the onyx tower. Rolling thunder echoes in the distance. Do you understand now? Anna asks. There is no other sign of the soothsayer, only her strained voice. A bolt of lightning streaks across the sky. Do you see your fate before you, as I do? Another resounding crack of thunder, and Patrice is suddenly awake. Icy rain pelts her body, soaking her through to the bone. She's lying in the mud beside a wooded trail, and there is no other soul in sight. Okay, so we're going to... Uh... So Patrice wakes up in the, uh, you know, in, in uh, the in the woods outside of Arkham, and uh, I'm going to set up those woods, and um, then I'll be right back. Okay, so I've set up the uh, haunted woods outside of Arkham, where um, Patrice finds herself. So she's got this little uh, layout of woods here. And also, we'll see that Jenny's here, also here in the woods, because why is she out in the woods tonight? She's looking for Izzy. Um, she's on the trail of something called the Green Man Cult, and uh, which you know, she believes um, may have captured her or, or something of the sort. So let's see what we need to do here. First, we start with the agenda. Temperance 14. Remain calm, and you may peer into an uncertain future. The balance of the universe has tilted. You are the fulcrum. Be patient, and all will be revealed. Okay, so we have eight Doom to work with, which is, uh, which is quite a bit, actually. That gives us some nice uh, breathing room before the really bad things start coming at us. All right, and what do uh, Patrice and Jenny need to do? Lost in the woods. Okay, so Patrice is awakened alone deep in the woods south of Arkham. The mysterious soothsayer is nowhere to be seen. She rises up from the muddy trail and tries to find her bearings. An oppressive weight hangs in the air around her. Okay, so what this means is that... Um, Let's see that Patrice and Jenny they haven't even they haven't met yet they uh, they start off separated and but um, collectively they are both looking for uh, four clues and at the end of the round they can spend their four clues to uh, advance to act to, to act one B here okay so uh, Patrice has just woken up in the woods and there's uh, fog everywhere Jenny is already out in the woods um, looking for uh, signs of her sister so let's um. Now that we're all set up, let's draw opening hands. Okay, here we go. Let's start with Jenny here. 
So she's out in the woods all by herself looking for, um, hunting down the cult of the green man. So she's probably just going to want guns, to be honest. Let's see what we get here. Okay, we've got got some good stuff here. This will help us deal with uh, willpower treacheries. Uh, we don't need this yet. We'll use that later. Lone Wolf is great to get immediately. So the hand's pretty good for dealing with, say, treacheries, but I think we need more assets. So I think we'll do this and then draw three new ones. Oh, gun. Good. And uh, we replaced our guts from earlier. Good stuff. I don't know if we need the emergency cash just yet. All right. And let's see what location um, Jenny starts at. She starts at the Lonely Tree. You cannot investigate this location while you have at least three, while you have between three and five cards in hand. That's interesting. But you can either choose a, you can discard a card from your hand. Okay, so Jenny could discard a card to give Patrice a card, or Jenny can have Patrice discard a card, which isn't that much of a cost for Patrice to give her a card. Okay, this is going to be interesting. The two of them haven't met each other yet, but I wonder uh, how will explain that. They can help each other out. Oh, let me shuffle this deck. Okay, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay, so we've got Peter Sylvester. We've got David Renfeld. Okay, we don't need all our allies. So who's more important? Um, Probably David and Sixth Sense. I like this as a, you know, for two actions, we can play both of them. Okay, so we'll mulligan these three because we won't use them. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. We'll see if we can make any tests this turn. Okay. Okay, so where does Patrice start? So Patrice, um, you know, comes to near some cairn stones. After any number of clues are discovered, each investigator at this location loses an equal number of resources. Okay, so we want to probably go down to zero resources and then investigate. That seems like a good call. All right, so we're ready to begin. Let's start with, well, Patrice can dump a card. But we can have Patrice dump a card to give to Jenny. So let's have Patrice go first, and then we'll see what she has left. And then that'll give that to Jenny. So I think we'll go first action, David Renfeld. Second action, Six Cents. Okay, so do I use David Renfeld at this point? Uh, probably. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Take a doom. All right. So now we're at five willpower. Can use that to investigate here, I think. Yeah, we'll lose a resource though, but our willpower is up. And we got live and learn to back us up. All right, so let's do that. So um, last action, we'll investigate at five versus three using uh, six cents. Okay, uh, we succeed. We could, you know, choose a different location, but we can't. So. We'll grab that clue, and we have to lose this resource. Okay, so that means when Jenny starts, we can just have Patrice um, like dump this resourceful to give Jenny a card. Ooh. Well, that's no good, but, well, better now than later, I guess. Okay, so let's get armed up. Let's probably Derringer. Lone Wolf for sure. Lone Wolf Derringer in case of bad guys. Then probably Emergency Cash, I guess. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, uh, first action, Lone Wolf. Second action, Derringer. Third action, we'll play Emergency Cash. Okay. All right, so that is all our that is all our actions. So now we'll go to, there's no, no Hunters, so we'll go to Upkeep. So we'll have Jenny draw a card and gain two resources. Okay, and then we're gonna have Patrice is gonna dump her hand and draw five cards. Oh, tabletop, why do you do that? <laughs> just like, just go in the discard pile. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Oh, there's the Watcher. Okay, so the Watcher is going to force us to draw four cards a turn until it hits the end of our deck, and then it's going to um, attack us. Fortunately, it's going to be a while before we hit the end of our deck. All right, um, take a resource. Okay, so new turn. We go to turn two and uh, we have one doom out of eight so let's see what we get let's start with patrice here what do we get bedeviled oh she can't trigger yikes granted her ability to 
I don't feel like spending the action to... Uh, so I'm going to... So one thing about having Ward of Protection in Patrice is that you know it's going away, so you just fire it on whatever. <laughs> just like, just just do it. Okay. Here we go. Frozen Fear. Ouch. Not what I wanted to see. Well, we have Tennessee Sour Mash to help, um, to help deal with that. We've got tons of resources. So I'm thinking what we'll do here is... Jenny's turn is pretty... S s hmm... We'll have Patrice go first, in fact. Okay, so first things first, let's gain a resource with David Renfeld. Okay. Now, I think we'll use six cents here. Uh, let's burn the guts. So we're at five. Yeah. Five, make that six, seven versus three. Success. Get a clue, draw a card. Okay. Oh, that'll be helpful. Um, we'll do it again. So we're going to be at 5, and let's use Fearless to be at 6 versus 3. Okay. Uh, okay, success. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to lose a resource when we uh, got a clue. Okay, so get a clue. Heal a horror. Um, third action, go again. 5 versus 3. Burn the Defiance. Yep, and we'll just name Skull for that. Okay, success. Get a clue. Lose a resource, which we can't. Okay, so on Jenny's turn, we can have Patrice discard the Lucky to give Jenny a card. Okay, Lita Luca. Oh, that's perfect, because now it's time for it. But we don't have a lot of resources right now. So what do we want to do? We want to play Tennessee. Well, we've got the guts to help with the uh, the Frozen in Fear, so we could probably get away with playing Lita De Luca. Then what would we do with our other three resources? Well, we definitely get Lone Wolf. Let's remember that. Okay. So our first move, so move fighter evade is going to be um, is going to cost two actions. So can we get away without moving fighting or evading? We could go Leo. Resource resource Tennessee sour mash. I'd rather investigate because investigating, but we need to go down in cards in order to investigate, or go up in cards. Well, we're definitely playing Leo. That is for sure. Okay, so we'll do this to remember that we have four actions. Let's put that right there. Okay. All right, first action, Leo DeLuca. Okay. Probably want to investigate here, but we can't. So let's go resource, resource, Tennessee Sour Mash. There we go. And, that'll help. and then at the end of our turn, let's test against Frozen and Fear. Use the Guts. Let's use the, the Sour Mash. That's why we have it. Okay, so we're at five versus three. Success. All right, good. Okay, so that's dealt with. All right. So that is both our turns. So now we'll draw cards and get resources. Hello, Mirror. Okay, that'll be useful as the game goes on. And she gets four new cards. Oh, here we go. Shriveling and sick. Shriveling. That's what we need to see. Fortunately, we need a couple more resources. Well, we've got David to give us the resources, so that'll be good. Okay, new turn. Okay, Doom. And now we get the bad stuff. Ooh, we got a baddie. Okay, and what happens? Just got the tar two cards in the encounter deck. So we'll do that. Okay. Ooh, no rotting remains for Jenny. That's good. And she gets a baddie. Okay, but fortunately, she's ready for it. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's have Patrice, I think, go first. She needs to evade this thing and then probably get away. Okay, so her evasion is at two right now. Hmm. Yeah. Evasion is at two. This will put us up to four. Okay, that'll work. First action, evade. Uh, minus one, so that's a success. Okay, now let's just get out of here. Let's go here. What do we got? A child's treehouse. It's only one shroud. That's good. Probably because the treehouse is right in front of you. When the last clue is discovered from this location, spawn the topmost enemy in the encounter discard pile at this location. Oh, that's funny. So it's like there's a treehouse here, but once you search the treehouse, there's something in the treehouse. <laughs> okay, that was our second action. Okay, so I want to get down shriveling before it goes away. So I'm going to do something that's pretty taboo, and that's put a second doom on David Renfeld to gain two resources. So then I can third action, 
play shriveling. Okay. So we're going to try to get him um, get him off. Yeah. Okay, so that was Patrice's turn. Uh, Jenny, we can have Patrice discard this to give Jenny a card. Okay, cunning. All right, so Jenny, however, she's going to get her lone wolf, and then I think we're going to have Jenny um, shoot this shoot this Coven Initiate. Okay, so if we shoot it, if we shoot her, we're at five versus two. Seems pretty good. Success by at least two, so she's gone. All right, now we we really need to investigate here. So second action, that was our first action. Oh, we don't have. Yeah, we have too many cards. Too many cards. Okay. Maybe we go here and we just get rid of. We just deal with Izzy. It seems actually pretty good. Second action, we go to this woods. What do we got? A tainted well. Investigators at other witch haunted the woods locations can commit a card to each skill test here and vice versa. Okay, so Patrice can help um, so with the search for Izzy. Fortunately, not really going to apply right now. Okay, but it also means Jenny can help with Patrice's tests. All right, so let's um, let's spend our last two actions searching for Izzy. If we how we're only at three versus three though, so maybe that's a bad idea. So what do we need? Um, just investigate normally. Uh, I want to be at least one over because of bad stuff. Because I that tablet looks really nasty. Drawing an extra treachery. Ugh. So no doing anything without being at least one over. Okay, so I think we just draw cards here. Yeah, I'll just draw cards because that'll help with that one. Feels like I'm spinning my wheels a little bit. Okay. There we go. Well, now we're going to have a bunch of cards. Okay. So that is all our actions. Let's uh, draw cards and get resources. Okay. Ooh, fingerprint kit. That's what I like to see. That'll help. Help accelerate our clue gathering. Oh, and she um, discards this and then draws four new ones. Oh, here we go. Wing it will help with getting clues. Oh, especially since that one's only a uh, bunch, you know, one. She gets a resource. Yeah, I like this. Okay. All right, new turn. We're at three doom out of eight. And let's start with Patrice here. What do we got? Diabolic voices. Okay, so we test willpower at three. And for each point you fail by discard a card, a random card from your hand. Okay. So let's see. Are there any others in here? Okay, there are none other in there are no other um, diabolic voices in there, so it is just against three. Let's uh let's do we play the premonition now? We're at five versus three, so not yet. Okay. Success. Okay. Let's see. Now I think what we'll do is we'll play the premonition. Oh, we not yet. Okay. Can't do it yet. I'm thinking about action windows here. Jenny's encounter card. Racked. Ooh. Minus one to each of your skills during the first skill test you perform each round. Oh, that is mean. Oh, that's mean. That's going to include the racked test. Okay, so what do we do about this? Okay, so they can help each other since Jenny is at the well. So let's open up with a premonition. That'll tell us, that'll give us some guidance. Okay, so basically our next our next poll is going to be a minus one. That's good to know because it'll help with uh, with Jenny here. So what do we want Jenny to do? We know that her skill test is at minus one, the first one she makes. So if we were to have Jenny go first, we could have her um, go find Izzy. She would need to be at a four on investigation, which is pretty easy to pull off. Yeah, she can, um, because four minus one is three, which and then minus another one. Okay, so she needs to be at a five if she wants to pull that off. Um... Yeah, because if she starts her turn, she's at five resources, which means this cunning can provide two lore icons, and she'd be at a five versus three to get rid of searching for Izzy. Okay, another possibility is she goes up to, she spends this guts. Oh, this is better. So if she spends this guts, she goes up to five against three, minus one for the racked, minus one for the uh, tablet to deal, to get rid of racked. I like this even more. Okay, so we're going to have. Yeah, we're going to have Jenny go first. Lone Wolf, we'll test against Racked. And as we discussed, we'll use Guts and then pull the Premonition token to uh, succeed at 
getting rid of this Rax. Okay, she will get a card. Okay, that, that's feeling pretty good. Okay, so now let's, I think we uh, either research for Izzy or let's get the clues of the well. Second action, play fingerprint kit. Okay, third action, use the fingerprint kit. So now we are at four versus three. Oh, I should use the Tennessee Sour Mash on the Rex. Oh, well. Okay, so we're at four versus three. Hmm. Spin this Leo to go at five versus three. And... Yeah. Do we want... Maybe Patrice can help. That would go... That would put her up to six, seven versus three. I kind of like that. All right, here we go. Okay, well, we succeeded. Okay, so that was her third action. Fourth action, not a whole lot to do. Maybe head back here. Yeah, because he's gonna have six cards next turn. Yeah, that sounds good. Okay, we'll come we'll come back for you, Izzy. Yeah. Okay, so that was the end of her turn. Over here. Yeah. Oh yeah, and while over here, Patrice can also dump a card, like uh, winging it, to uh, help out Jenny. I like that. I like that a lot actually. Okay, so she'll trigger this. Patrice dumps this to give Jenny a card. Okay. That's good. Okay, Patrice is definitely going to gain two resources off of David. Because why not? All right, so I guess we just, uh, we can use winging it. Because then we'll be testing it at zero. I like it. Okay, so first action, we'll use winging it. We're going to be at two versus zero. Success. Get two clues. Okay, so we are moving along here. We've got way more than what we need to uh, advance. But let's uh, let's get some extra clues, get some victory points, um, get all set up before we advance. Okay, so that was first action. And the last clue is discovered. Okay. Second action, we'll use six cents. Okay, that's going to be five versus one, so that's a success. Okay, so the ideal thing to happen here is to discover this clue while not at the treehouse. So let's play with Sixth Sense. Let's go third action, let's move over here. And then uh, we can investigate there to, um, we can, you know, we can use Sixth Sense to remotely investigate so we don't encounter an enemy. But what do we have here? Ooh, Shroud 4, nasty. After any number of clues are discovered from this location, each investigator here must discard an equal number of cards at random from his or her hand. Yikes. Oh, wow. Oh, I wish I had another action because I could have totally cheesed it <laughs> with Drawn to the Flame because then I would have gotten rid of the Watcher. That being said, that might be a plan for the future. Okay, so we went winging it, six cents move. Okay, and then Jenny's done too. All right, so cards, so we, uh, nothing hunts, so we're going to go to upkeep. Okay, card, resources. Okay, uh, discard that. Then we go cards. Okay, and resource. Excellent, violin. That'll help us. Oh, I, I, I see a plan coming, a plan to get rid of this watcher. It's starting to form in my in my brain here. All right, but let's see what uh, let's see what the encounter deck does to us. So we are actually at six doom out of eight. We got to get rid of David here. All right, let's start with Patrice. Diabolic voices. Okay, so let me uh, flip these over. Okay, so what are we at? There is one in the discard pile. So Diabolic Voices is a difficulty four willpower test. We are currently at five willpower. Okay, this is not the worst thing in the world um, because if we fail it miserably, we might lose the Watcher. But we don't want to lose our violin, so we actually kind of do want to make this. All right, that being said, what do I use to uh, boost it? Not a lot. So I guess we... I could burn the Prophecy. Yeah, let's burn the Prophecy. Okay, so how much Doom is in play? There is six Doom in play, so the Prophecy is worth um, three question marks. All right, so we are at four, five, six, seven, eight versus four. Okay, we do not fail that. All right, that's good. Okay, over here, we get a Dissonant Voices. No assets, no events. Awful, but we don't need to play assets or events this round, I don't think. I think we're fine. Okay, so over here, what happens here? You have to discard cards when you discover clues. So what we want to do is we want to get our hand down as low as possible. We want to get our hand down low and then have see if we can get rid of that Watcher. 
So for Patrice, we want the violin, so we'll play that first. Okay, so now we can discard cards to gain resources or draw cards. All right, let's see what our options are for resourceful. We could resourceful back a last chance, we can resourceful back a live and learn, we can resourceful back a lucky, but not really big. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, second action, we're gonna investigate. So right now we're at two versus four. Can use six cents instead. Okay, so this triggers even when you fail on six cents. Okay, so I got a plan now. Let's use the violin, dump the resourceful, get a resource. Okay, so now our odds of losing of losing the you know the, the watcher go up here. Okay, so second action we're gonna investigate. We're gonna be at four, five versus four. That dodges the bad stuff. Okay. Fail. Okay, so we're at we fail at one versus four, which is too low, because I wanted to use this. <laughs> Third action, we'll investigate again at five versus four. Uh, succeed by too much. Alright, so we gain a clue and we have to discard one of these two cards at random. Man, this bag is just Yay, he's gone. All right. <laughs> Good shooting. Yeah. Okay. Good stuff. <laughs> All right, over here. Let's see what happens. Hmm. We want to get those clues, and we want to probably maybe... We don't have enough... We may have enough time to go get Izzy. Okay, so trigger Lone Wolf. First action, use the fingerprint kit. So we'll be at four versus two. Uh, let's have let's trigger this to have Patrice give her um, give her a card. Okay, since Patrice doesn't need that anymore. Okay, so we're at four versus two. Hmm. Guess we'll just take it. Yeah, this is only giving plus one. Success. So we get two clues. Good. Okay. Uh, second action move. Okay. Now do we search for Izzy? We'd be at three versus three, though. We could be at five versus three with the courage. I think I might wait and use cunnings. But then what else are we going to do with our two actions? Like, we don't want to draw cards. We can't play assets or events. Okay, so we'll use, I guess we do use the courage here. Okay, so we'll search for Izzy with our last two actions, and we're going to be at five versus three. Success. Okay, so we have searched for Izzy. All right, good stuff. Uh -oh. i got to get rid of Renfield here. <laughs> Yikes, switching hour is almost here already. All right, so no baddies. So cards and resources. Oh, that's really cool to see. All right, and that's going to go away. Okay, um, she's going to get new cards. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and take a resource. Okay. New turn. Seven doom out of eight. And let's start drawing. Hopefully it's... Nope. I was hoping for something that could deal us a horror or a damage. We may have to provoke an AO to get rid of Wenfell here. Okay, let's see what we got over here. Evil past. Okay, when the encounter deck runs out, she's going to take two horror and test willpower. Okay, so what do we do here? We could advance right now. But I want to get these, but Jenny has nothing to do if we don't advance. So I think maybe advancing right now is a good call. Oh, we have to do it at the end of the turn, right? It's too late to advance. Okay, so we're going to spend this turn trying to uh, get rid of Renfeld. What can we do to get rid of Renfeld? Um, we can do a winging it's like back. Yeah, winging it's not going to work. Um, maybe we can do something where we provoke an AO. Yeah, we provoke an AO, get rid of Renfeld, because she'll do a horror. Or we can just have her attack. We can engage with her, have her attack, that'll get rid of Renfeld. Seems like a plan. So if we're, if we're definitely committed to operation, um, let Renfeld take a hit for us. Let's just get as many resources as we can. Okay, so we want to end our turn next to the Covenant Initiate. We need to get clues here. Do we wing it? Nah, we're too low on that. Do we use the violin? 
So if we use six cents, we're at five versus four. Four versus four, because it's freaking racked. Okay. Defiance will help. Five versus four. Let's see. Do we have another winging it? Okay, not in the discard pile. We could use the violin to get a card, that might help us. Let's just do it. Use the violin, draw a card. Ooh, hello. We have way too many resources to make use of it, but hello. Okay, let's let's just focus on clues. Okay, so right now we're at four versus four because of this. Let's burn Dark Horse and Defiance. Name Skull. So we're at six versus four. Success. Okay, so we can either take this clue or that clue. Oh, well, this one's harder. So let's go for this. Okay, that was first action. Second action. Test again. But now we're at five versus four. Uh, that's a failure, but we'll use Lucky. So we get this clue. Oh, I had to discard a card at random. Okay. Right, I knew I was forgetting something. No oh, tabletop simulator. Why do you do that? <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> Again? What is going on with this game? Oh, come on, just make a pile. Okay. So we discard a card. Yep, of course it was our lucky. So that means we're gonna we fail the next the second test. Okay. Third action we walk here. Okay. Engage this. Alright, over here. There's not much to really do. Probably just get set up some more. Like play Hollow Mirror. Seems good. Boop. Okay, shuffle those in. Okay, don't need the lone wolf, so we don't need to draw. Um, I guess we could have committed a card. Oh well. Oh, trigger lone wolf. Okay. So first action, play Hallowed Mirror. Let's just take resources for the moment, and then we'll advance to the end of the turn. Oh, take three resources, because we have Lua, Leo. Okay, we are ready to go. All right. That did not go as well as I thought it should have. All right, so enemy phase. The Coven initiate attacks and discards Renfeld. Okay. Now we do cards and resources. Okay, she has to discard. Don't need this second lone wolf. Okay, and over here, she discards those and draws new five. Okay. Okay, ooh, Peter Sylvester, just on time. It's kind of weird how the two of them just seem to stay together after I shuffled. Something's wrong with this, I know it. All right, new turn. 16 out of eight. And let's see what we get. Uh-oh, so now she has multiple witches. Oh, wait, I I, I need, I was gonna, yep, I was gonna um, advance, right, right. Totally gonna do that. All right, so it looks like Patrice has done a lot of the work, so we'll let her do the advancing. Okay. Deeper into the woods. As the rain lets up, a dense fog rolls in throughout the area. Soon all of the woods have vanished within the hazy fog. I imagine that Patrice doesn't know that Jenny's here yet, so she doesn't call out for her companions. But she does grope blindly in the haze, searching for something, anything to which she can cling. Okay, so a lot of stuff is going to happen here. Okay. All right, a lot of stuff's going to happen here. So I am going to get a beverage, and I'll be right back, and then we'll uh, we'll set the we'll set the game up. And we're back. A few things have happened here as I've um, you know set up this act resolution because there's quite a lot going on here. Okay, so what's happened is that both Patrice and Jenny have found their way to an Arkham Woods location, the same ones that you may remember from the core set. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, we got... Oh, the, oh, no, the clue's stuck. <laughs> Come on. Shake it out. Shake it out. You can do it. 
Oh no, not a clue. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> oh, tabletop simulator, I love you. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so they end up in new locations. Uh, Jenny ends up in a tangled thicket. And this location is uh, investigated by using combat. Okay, and... But Patrice, luckily, she ends up in a quiet glade. She can heal damage or horror. That's really nice, actually. This wouldn't. This would be a nice picnic spot if it weren't for all the monsters. Okay, so something else happens. They um, they get moved to uh, you know since they're groping blindly in the haze, they um, they move to these new locations. But then they they uh, they get descended upon by goat spawn, which is appropriate because um, goat spawn are related to uh, Shemingaroth, which is related to the cult of the Green Man, which is what uh, which is why Jenny's out here in the first place. All right, so they can. Let's see. They can test uh, willpower or evasion at three in each, uh, and uh, if they succeed, they can exhaust and disengage from it. So they can basically get a free evade check. All right. We'll start with Patrice. Patrice is currently testing at. She'd be testing at what do we got? Just four versus three on on willpower. Okay, four versus three on willpower. Hmm. Is it prophesy time? Yeah, considering that we've got this thing on us too. Yeah, I think it's prophesy time. Or is it premonition time? We can dial it as we need it. Alright, that seems even better. Alright, we'll play premonition. Okay, minus one. Okay, so she's already at four versus three, so we know that she's just gonna nail this check. Okay. Also, since an action window has opened up between turns, I could just pop the violin like right now. And we'll wait. Okay, so she uh, will have her um, use willpower um, to effectively evade this thing. Okay, so that, that token goes back, lose the premonition. Okay. Jenny. Jenny is at three versus three, whether it's willpower or it's, um, or it's evasion. So this seems like a good time. So Jenny could probably just blast this thing. But I don't want to be. I don't want to test it evens because of those tokens being really bad. Yeah. So I kind of want to like put one icon into the test. Let's do watch this. Yeah. Don't want to. Don't want to burn my watch this on this. Burn watch this on this. Uh, I could boot burn soothing melody on it actually, because I don't have any damage on me. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, so now we're going to be at four versus three. Okay, so we fail. Um, so that thing stays engaged with us. Okay. Yeah, that was, right. I was correct. Four versus three. Okay, yeah, I didn't really want to evade it because I'm just going to beat it up. Okay, so that handles that. Um, another thing we've done is we've shuff we've uh, we've got some demonic piping. Um, one of these is in the encounter deck, and two are in the discard pile. So this is going to be a surge effect that's going to eventually summon the Piper of Azatoth, which sounds nasty. Okay, so that's everything. All right, and that ends the turn. So now we go into a new turn. We go back up to six because I remembered to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I remembered not to double count, and now we'll draw encounter cards, starting with Patrice. Centuries of Secrets. Okay, for each point you fail by. Describe the top card of the encounter deck. Okay, so this is going to be her first check of the turn, so it's going to get rid of. It's going to deal with racked here. Um, I don't. Do I want to just cancel it? That actually doesn't seem like a bad idea. I could just cancel it and then. Um, yeah, because I'm not using these resources for anything else. Do that. Bam! I'll just indiscriminately cancel centuries of secrets. However, racked will stick around. All right. Over to Jenny. What does she get? Ancient Evils. Man, I wish uh, Patrice could cancel that. I know what one of her first upgrades are going to be. All right, so that'll put us up to seven Doom, not eight. That's good. All right, here we go. So Patrice has some stuff to deal with. Um, oh, and we get a new act. Let's remember that. Witch Hauntings. Whatever arcane rites are being practiced in these woods, they are attack attracting the attention of all manner of vile beasts, the likes of which you have never seen. Although it's possible that Jenny's seen them before because she's been kind of tracking down these, um, you know, these, uh, the Green Man Cult and Shubnigaroth, and, uh, you know, we have Goat Spawn that are kind of related to all of this. 
Is all of this what the soothsayer was trying to warn you about? Okay, so if a single investigator uh, spends two clues, we advance. Okay, so is that something we can just do right now? Because we have tons of clues. So we'll say, yep, Patrice has the most clues. So we'll say she is, um, we'll have her advance the act deck. What do we got? Strange melodies. As you scour the woods for answers or a path that will lead you back home, you find yourself drawn off the beaten trail by a mesmerizing melody of silvery pipes. Deeper into the damp, hazy woodland, you delve, searching for the source of the strange music. Finally, you come up upon a foggy clearing. Oh, a foggy clearing, kind of like this. Yeah, quiet glade. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. All right. At the center of which lies a half-rotted tree stump. An old but delicately carved wooden flute lies atop the stump, silently beseeching you to approach. The moment you touch the instrument, the piping melody that lured you here is cut short, and the dense frog around you disperses with a sudden breeze. Okay, so now uh, our locations are connected to each other. Okay. That's good. All right, so what does that mean? That means that these, all the witch haunted woods are connected to each other. Are these two connected, though? Uh, that's connected to that, and that is connected to that. Okay. All right, so we can just make this little connection here. So they're actually, like, pretty close to each other right now. Um, yeah, and all of these connect to all of those. Okay. Yeah. So the only real restriction here is, like, you can't go from here to here. See, because there's no moon. Yeah, that's a weird one. But that can connect to there. All right. Just want to make sure I got that right. So what do we do now? Paths into twilight. Oh, yeah. With the strange fog dispersed, you are now able to explore the woods. You are unable to find the main path that leads back to Uptown, but this is your chance to discover more about the ritual the witches are conducting. So we need six clues, which we have. But do we want to advance yet? I don't think so. Let's. We got some baddies to deal with here. Okay, so we've got some options. Patrice is in a good place, um, but she's got a lot of baddies on her. So one thing she can do is she can use Prophecy to... Um, evade oh, we can just shrivel the initiate but if we evade the initiate she can then get rid of racked i kind of like that a lot save the shriveling charges for the goat spawn jenny she's probably going to blast her goat spawn and then go help out probably go help out patrice even though she doesn't know she's there yet all right so let's start with patrice what do i want to do i want to go evade discard play peter that actually does not seem like a bad idea okay so first action will evade we're going to be at four, I mean, sorry, three, four, five, five versus, so four versus three. Do we use the flute? Sorry, use the violin to draw a card. Mm. Maybe we should have Jenny come over and help because she, she has tons. Okay, so we're going to have Jenny go first. Trigger Lone Wolf. Okay. She's got a goat spawn and she needs to go, and we'll have her go help out. All right, so first action, do we evade or do... Yeah, we need to blast this thing. That was our plan. I could just cheat, I could cheap shot it and then save it for later. Or she can go cheap shot the, that one. That seems less good. If I cheap shot this thing... All right, so right now our evasion is three versus two. So I need to boost it. Cunning is going to be really helpful here. So I can go to six versus two on evasion. No, I want, I want to take this thing down. So if I cheap shot this, that'll put it down, to, it'll evade, we'll evade it, and it'll put, we go down to um, two hit points, so it could be one gun blast later. Yeah, I like this plan, actually. And we won't have to worry about retaliate. Okay, first action, cheap shot. Okay, so we are going to um, be at six versus two, six versus three at this point. Let's go to seven versus three and watch this. And uh, it'll add both the, um, it'll have both pips. So we're going to be at, let's see, six, seven, eight versus three. And we bet three resources. Okay. Eight minus three is five versus three, which is enough to gain six back. One, two, three, four, five, six. Did we have to evade by two or more? We had to succeed by two or more to evade it. Okay, perfect. So we do a damage and we evade this thing. Okay. So we can save that one for later, and she can go help out Patrice, or she can finish off the one she's uh, she's already with here. Now let's go help out. Let's go help out. So first action, we we cheap shot. 
Second action, she runs away and goes to help. Okay, so now they've um, Jenny and Patrice have, have finally met. Um, so I imagine the two of them, they don't know each other personally, but they know of each other. Uh, Patrice, I imagine that uh, since Patrice plays violin at the Ward Theater, I imagine um, Jenny has been there before, or at least at least has heard about this violin prodigy. And um, Patrice may not have met Jenny, but, you know, it's the 1920s and, you know, the tabloids, the papers, as, you know, the shows call them, uh, are going to be constantly following everything Jenny does because, you know, she's rich. So I imagine Patrice knows, they, they probably recognize each other, but um, don't know each other personally. Either way, it's they're being chased by goat spawn. They should probably help each other out. All right, so that was second action. I moved over here. Okay. Now we're gonna, now how are we gonna do this? Uh, slip away will probably be useful here. Maybe I'll evade that one later. Okay, she wants to help out with this. Okay. Maybe I should have cheap shot at that thing. Oh well, okay. I think maybe blasting this this exhausted goat spawn is probably the way to go here. Yeah. And she can help out with the evasion check. And then she can help out her evasion check. And then she'll be able to get rid of Racked. Okay. Then she can shrivel it. Hmm. Okay. Lots of options. I love it. Lots of options. Okay. Second action move. Third action. Let's blast the exhausted um, goat spawn with our derringer we are at five versus three let's go to seven i think this might be the part where we use the prophecy yeah because yeah this that actually seems pretty good so we'll go to eight versus three uh, minus one that's a success by at least two so we deal two damage all right that was our third action uh fourth action let's try to finish it off yeah, that's probably the best thing Jenny can do to contribute right now. Okay, fourth action to try to finish it off. We've got the twin 45s coming, coming up here, so we can just go ahead and use that. Five versus three, sounds good. Nice, she succeeds by a million. And we uh, get rid of this goat spawn here. Okay. Okay, so that was her four actions. Okay, so Jenny shows up with a hail of bullets to take down that thing. All right, now we'll go to Patrice. Uh, Patrice starts off. Probably want to use the violin here. Yeah, because she doesn't need the willpower for anything else. Um, let's have Jenny draw a card. So we'll use the violin, discard that, to have Jenny draw a card. OK, that's useful. OK, first action, we'll go to evade the initiate. Jenny's uh, cunning um, is worth three. Is worth um, three athletics, so she is at five versus five four versus two. Okay. Success. So she has evaded the coming initiate. Okay. Second action, she'll get rid of Racked. Okay, and <laughs> sorry about that, my. Uh... Kitty is uh, my cat of Ulthar is being uh, is, is asking for asking a question here. <laughs> Third action, we'll um, we're gonna shrivel the uh, Coven Initiate and get rid of it. Oh wait, we want to get Peter down. Yeah, we'll get Peter down. Okay, that was action three. Okay, so now we go to enemy phase. Coven Initiate refreshes. Goat Spawn refreshes. Um, Diddy's not in a good position to deal two damage in one shot, so we'll have it engage Patrice. That thing does not hunt yet this turn. Okay, so now we go to cards and resources. All right, cards, resources, then draw five. Ah. Ooh, oh no. <laughs> Multiple weaknesses, that's no good. Okay, well, that's, that's it, was, it was bound to happen eventually. Okay, so now we go to a new turn. I think we're going to advance now. Yep. Okay. Here we go. This is the bad this is the bad times. The rite commences. The moon reaches its height, reaches the height of its arc in the night sky. The trees begin to shift and twist in the breeze as though made of something other than solid matter. 
Dozens of birds suddenly scatter from every treetop. In the distance, you can hear a faint melody, the pitch bending in the wind. A cloaked figure emerges from the darkness, beyond the brush, a vortex of magical energy coalescing at her feet. Are you the ones who have been meddling with our works, she wonders aloud, gazing at you suspiciously from underneath her thick hood? It is no matter. You are not welcome here, she threatens. Be gone or face the consequences. So we discard cards from the encounter deck until we have five left, and then the investigator with the most cards in his or her play area must draw the wit, the topmost witch. There are three left, so we'll discard eight of them. Ah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are five left. Okay, so who has the most cards in their play area? She's got six, he's got four. So Jenny gets the topmost witch. Okay. All right, so that's the top card. So she gets this this lady right here. Oh, she looks kind of nasty. Okay. Oh, whoops. Agenda two, the night howls. As midnight draws near, the forest, the forest begins to take on another form. A canopy of darkness overtakes the stars. The wind picks up in intensity, its whistling echoing through the trees. A dangerous power gathers deep within the woods, drawing only the foul and the foolish. Okay, so at the end of the round, we're gonna the doom's gonna accelerate if once we find the uh, witch's circle. Okay, so now we'll go to encounter cards. Okay, what do we got? Ancient evils. Oh no, no way to no way to cancel it this turn. So that's that. And then Jenny gets diabolic voices. Ooh, that's mean. All right, how many diabolic voices are in the discard pile? We've got I see two of them, so that means it's a difficulty five willpower check. Ooh. Uh, Caprice, uh, Patrice can't, Cap uh, Patrice can't help. I wish she could. All right. We're at five. Use Tennessee Sour Mash. That's what it's for. So now we're at five. Okay. Let's go to six, seven versus five. Success. Nice. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. So we have two witches to deal with. And then... We also got these clues to get, and we're probably going to want to advance soon. Okay. Okay, this witch has three hit points. This one has two. Okay, Jenny's not in a good position to shoot her down. So she's probably going to go evade. Ooh, wow. Plus one evade for each witch enemy in the discard pile. Oh, gosh. How many are in the discard pile? One. Two. Yikes. So she is four to evade. Okay. Plus one fight and plus one evade for each witch in the discard pile. So alright, so we wanna we're probably gonna want to blast her and evade her. Okay, that'll help. So I'm thinking we have Jenny go first, she evades, then gets down the 2025s and starts attacking. So that way she can attack whatever comes at them. Because she is good to go. Okay, with twin 45s going down, that means that this cunning is not gonna. It's not going to stick around. Another possibility is this might be a good time for slip away. So that way we lock it for a turn. That seems like an even better idea, to be honest. We lock her for a turn with slip away. Then Jenny is ready to go to go blast thing, you know, to blast things with the twin forty fives. I like it. Okay, here we go. So first action, play slip away. Okay. So what are we at? We get to add our our lore to our evasion, so we're at six versus what we just what we realized was four. Let's go to nine versus four because we want to succeed by two. Success. So we have locked the priestess. All right, that was first action. Okay, second action is time for the twin forty fives. All right, and we don't really need our resources for anything else at this point, so let's just put twelve ammo on it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, then here we go. One, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Okay, second action, play twin forty fives. Okay, so now she can start really helping out. We want to get the goat spawn, or do we want to get? Do I blast this initiate? Yeah, we're probably going to blast the initiate because Patrice needs a little bit of time to um, like get put the tower down before she can really... Yeah, then she can play Guts to start blasting on her own. Okay, so 
we will have Jenny's third action. We're going to have her um, uh, shoot the Covenant Initiate. She's at five versus two. Seems good. Nice. Okay, so that takes care of the Covenant Initiate. Yeah. Last action. I'll probably head down here to like go get these clues. Yeah, this thing's coming. Well, this thing is connected no matter where they are. Okay, where they end up. Okay. So I guess we'll go after this clue. Or this one. Probably we're probably gonna end up going after both. Alright, so last action. Let's head down here. Because Jenny's pretty good space. She's in a pretty good spot to be able to deal with a baddie that comes up. It's worth, it'll be worth a victory point. Alright, now Patrice. First action, she's going to play the tower. Okay. Um, use this. We want to get the Holy Rosary down. So we'll discard Guts to get a resource. Second action, play Holy Rosary. Okay. So with her last action, she has a lot of options here. I can shrivel this thing. She's going to be at five, though. But then again, we have last chance. Okay. Yeah, because if we shrivel it, we're going to be at a lot. We're going to be at four, five, ten. Ten versus... Ten versus five? Yeah, we're not going to get a better chance. Okay, so we'll shrivel that. Ten versus five? Success. So we deal two damage. Okay. All right, so that was all our actions. Okay. Hunter's Hunt. Uh, this thing is equal equidistant between Jenny and um, Jenny and Patrice. So let's say Jenny, uh, yeah, it, it's drawn. It's drawn to Jenny. It's ch it was chasing her, so it'll come in and do a damage. Yeah. Okay. That'll be handy, actually. I'm not sure why, but it will be. Okay. This thing is locked, so we don't have to worry about her. Now we'll draw cards and get resources. Okay, don't need that anymore. And then she'll go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and take a resource. Okay, new turn. Two doom out of 12. Start with Patrice here, Ancient Evils, and we can't cancel it, so it's another doom. Okay. Oh, that's back. Century, centuries of Secrets. Ouch. All right, we're just going to have to take this one on the chin, I think. And hope we don't get... Well, I'm glad we didn't get the tablet. I was just hoping... I was about to say, I hope we don't get the tablet. <laughs> okay, so what were we at? We were at three. Uh, minus one is two. Two versus five. So we discarded the top three cards in the encounter deck. And if there's a curse, bad things happen. Uh-oh. Oh, that's going to be bad for uh, Petris. Two, three. No curses. Okay. Okay, so we discard that. There's no curses, so nothing happens. But when the encounter deck runs out, things happen. She, uh, Jenny takes two horror. We have to uh, test some willpower. Okay, so she's at three versus three. Um, not much we can really do to boost that. Yeah, I can't really boost it. Okay, we actually succeed. That's good. All right. Then this person, she readies and attacks each investigator. So she readies, engages Patrice, and attacks her. Yeah. Losing the top three cards. And then because of hypochondria, she takes a direct horror. Okay. So that's going, things are going sideways. Okay. All right, now here we go. We need to finish this thing off. Patrice will probably finish this thing off because it's down to being... Is there a witch in there? Of course there is. So now it's a three difficulty. So she shrivels it. She's going to be at four, five versus three. Pretty good. She just has all this to help with. Probably burn the drawn to the flame. I don't think we need clues anymore. Yeah, we have enough to advance whenever we want. We could just advance now. 
Now let's let's clean up and then we'll advance. So we'll have Jenny go first. Lone Wolf. First action. We'll blast the goat spawn. She's at three, four, five. Five versus three. Uh, seems pretty good. It's got retaliate, so let's go to six versus three. Okay, nice. So takes down the goat spawn with her first action. All right, now we wanted to get clues. So second action, she'll investigate at three versus one. Success, gets the clue, but it spawns a baddie. Topmost enemy in the discard pile. Oh, hello. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> okay, maybe that was a bad idea. Okay. Third action, let's throw the sour mash. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to be at six versus three if we throw the sour mash. Oh. Yep, we fail and it attacks us for one damage. Okay, well, we don't want to take more attacks, so I'm thinking we we can evade at three versus two, or we can blast at five versus three. Yeah, we'll just keep blasting. Okay, blast at five versus three, success. So we deal two damage. Oh, it's too bad. Okay, over here, we need to finish this thing off. Okay. Its difficulty is three. We are currently at five with shriveling or two with fight. We, need, we have two items, so able bodied is giving us, would give us two. Because we could just pitch these. Because if we pitch these, we'll be at two, three, four, five versus three. But if we shrivel, we're also at five versus three. So I kind of like this plan. All right, five versus three. It retaliates and we take a horror. Okay. Second action will shrivel. Okay. Four, five. Make that six versus three. Give the chaos bag a nice extra couple of shuffles. Success. Okay. She's gone. That's our second action. Okay. So we've kind of gotten some relief now. We don't need this, so we'll just dump that, take a resource. Last action. I don't really want to play Renfeld. So we'll just dump that to take a resource. Last action, we'll head here. Okay, to go get that clue. Okay, that was our turn. So enemy phase, he attacks Jenny. Okay, then we go cards and resources. Finger get, don't need that. And then she dumps that, and her deck's gonna run out. So one, two, three, four. Flip this massive thing over. Peter takes a horror, and then five. Okay, not bad. Nice little mix. Okay, that's gonna end the turn. New turn. 40 out of 12. I think I'm going to try to advance this turn because we've kind of we're cleaning up here. Bedeviled cannot trigger. Ooh, she can't like investigate or do anything unless she gets rid of that. That's mean. Okay, Jenny gets racked. Ooh. Okay, she can actually overcome racked um, because she's got overpowers. Okay, so let's start by advancing and see what see what we have to deal with. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, hello, there's the witch's circle. All right, what happens here? Oh man, it's got six clues on it. All right, so let's put it into play. Let's... Oh no, don't, ah, no. <laughs> okay. Oh, it doesn't like being in the middle. Let's just put it right there in the middle. Okay, that's the middle of everything. Put into play in front of none of the investigators. The lead investigator spawns Annette Mason at the Witch's Circle. After the enemy phase, we can move each ready unengaged witch enemy once towards it. Okay, so witches go that way. Yeah, it should be there. Okay, so Annette Mason is at the Witch's Circle. 
Okay, let's put her. Oh, it's snapping to the grid. Let's uh, turn that off. Okay, so Net Mason. She's got eight hit points, four to fight, four to evade, retaliate. Ugh. After the enemy phase begins, discard the top three cards in the encounter deck. Spawn each witch enemy at her location. Okay, so she's going to spawn witches. Okay. What else do we know? We know that witches at the witches circle are going to cause extra doom. Okay. What do we got here? A circle unbroken. Act four. You come across a clearing where a ritual circle has been constructed. Several hooded figures stand around it in a trance, unaware of your presence. Overlooking the ritual is a powerfully built woman that must be a net mason who brandishes a long wavy dagger as she sees you approach. Leave this place at once, she commands. Okay, so we either have to defeat Annette Mason or have there be no clues in the Witch's Circle. So our abilities to do... Okay, so Jenny's pretty teched up for fighting right now. So cluing the witches, getting the clues off the Witch's Circle is not looking so good. Um, Patrice can do either, although she probably can fight faster than she can investigate. All right, we've got a baddie to deal with here. So we're going to have... Yeah, we'll have um, Jenny go first. Okay, here we go. So if we shoot, oh, we first we trigger Lone Wolf, and then we shoot, we're going to be at five versus five, and then, well, five, four versus three. So let's go five, six. So if six versus three. Ooh, it's going to retaliate again. Yuck. Okay. I guess second action, do it again. Okay. Six versus three. No, this time it's seven versus three. Okay, minus one, succeed. Okay, it's gone, and we get a card. Okay, intel report. Oh, maybe Jenny can do, uh, you know, do some cluing. How many clues do we need to get? Six. That might not be so bad. She can also grab that clue. Getting grab that clue for victory point seems good. <sighs> okay, so maybe she moves in and then evades a, a net. No, I don't think she's capable. She's only at three versus four to evade. She's probably going to have to just go in guns blazing. Hmm. We've got to do something with a net. Hmm. So do we rely on evasion and cluing, or do we rely on blasting? That's a good question. We've got winging it. The shroud isn't that bad. Eight hit points is a lot. That's four shots from Jenny, if they all connect. Okay, but if we clue, we can go Intel Report for two clues, winging it for another two clues, and then probably six cents. Or I can just use the fingerprint kit for a clue de gras. <laughs> hey! All right, let's try the clue route. Third action, play Intel Report. Grab two clues off of here. One, two. Yeah, because they are connected to the plus sign. Whoops. Fourth action, draw card. Ooh, fourth action, we can try that, but we'd only be at three versus three. Don't want to do that. Fourth action, draw card. Well connected, not useful anymore. All right, over here. Nothing to deal with. She doesn't hunt. She's just going to create doom. That's what she does. Okay. So what kind of checks do we need to make? We need to make six sense checks. Okay, so I can try to six sense investigate this clue. If I, six, if I get a, um, a spooky token, I can grab one of those. So I kind of like this plan. All right, first action, we'll investigate. We've got Live and Learn to help us out. We're going to be at four, five to investigate. Oh, we can't. we got this thing. So first we need to get rid of that. We're at five versus three to get rid of that. Let's make it six versus three with Fearless. Success. Get rid of that. Heal a horror. Okay. Okay. Second action. Now we'll do... Um, now we'll do six. We'll do six cents. We're going to be at five versus four. 
got live and learn to back us up. Defiance might be good right now, though. Six versus four. Minus two, that's a success. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's second action. Let's dump the winging it to get a resource. But then what do we do with her third action? I don't want to engage a net here. We could just take another resource. Oh, we had to discard a card when we did that. Last action. We should go meet up with Jenny just so they can help each other. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right, so then Peter heals. That's all our actions. So let's go cards and resources. Card, resources. Okay, and then she gets five cards. Okay, there he is again. And a resource. Okay. Oh yeah, enemy phase stuff happens. Oh, she was going to get witches. Okay. One witch. Okay, one witch. She recruited some witches here. Okay, this is going to be a problem. We have to have... Yeah, the enemy phase begins. They're just spawned. They're not... revelation. No revelations occur. End of the turn. Okay, two doom happens. Okay, so this is going to... We have to move. We have to move faster than I thought. Okay, so new turn, Doom. We're at seven out of twelve, and let's get some bad stuff. Centuries of secrets. Ugh, again. All right, so she'll just take it and hope she doesn't get the uh, tablet. She doesn't. All right, so she is at two versus five. Make that. So she gets a one. She fails by four. So um, she discards four cards, and we see if we there are any curses there. Uh, no curse, no curse, no curse, no curse. Okay, so nothing happens. And she uh, racked is dealt with for the round. Okay, over here, what do we get? Demonic piping, that's going to surge. I guess we put it next to the deck and see what we surge into. Oh, another baddie. Not what I was looking forward to. Fortunately, we've got shriveling to deal with it, to deal with it. All right, so I guess we need to shrivel this. Oh, we discard the top two cards of the encounter deck. Okay, doesn't cost an empty, so we're fine. Okay, so Jenny needs to go probably cut, crush that witch, and then I don't know how she's, and just um, probably evade a net. She's not in the best position to do that. But if she evades the net, she can dump racked. I like that plan. Okay, that's Jenny. Okay, we uh, Patrice is we're probably gonna have Patrice go first. In fact, yeah, she can give Jenny resources or cards. All right, so let Patrice go first. She needs to be blast this. So we're gonna be at four, five versus two. Seems pretty good. Minus one, so success. But she takes a horror. Rather, Peter does. How many cards left? 30. Okay, so we're safe from this. Okay, that was first action. Now let's think. I need to go get those. If she moves over there, and that engages her, which seems bad. Let's get rid of hypochondria. Although if I don't, I gotta move this along. I can move in and blast the net. No, she needs to move in and blast that covenant initiate with her other two actions. Yeah, that seems good. All right. So she does engage a net, which Jenny will deal with. Okay, third action, we'll shrivel that other witch here at five versus two. We got lucky to back us up. Yep, five versus two, yep, okay.
Okay, so that's a success. Okay. All right, Jenny. Jenny needs to rush in and deal with whatever's there. She's already used the racked. So first action, we'll go here. Um, she can either blast a, a net or get clues. Blasting a net seems better. We may have to abandon her clue plan. There are only, only, only four left. She can investigate for three of them. She's only at three versus three, though. Well, what do we got? Patrice can help out with the checks. Yeah, she totally can. With these two. Oh, yeah, Peter was supposed to heal. Hmm. If we blast the net, we're at five versus four. Okay, we're definitely not going to need this improvised weapon, so let's dump that and feed Jenny a card or a resource. I think a card. Oh, here we go. Okay. A plan is coming together. I think we're going to have to blast the net. So this intel report wasn't wasn't a good idea after all. I could also go engage a net, evade a net, then get rid of racked. Yeah, we have lots of options here. Okay. Yeah, retaliate's bad. Second action, engage a net. Third action, evade a net. We're going to be at four. If we third action, evade a net, we're at four versus four. Then she can boost by one. Ugh. Yikes. That is not good. OK. We can use a blaster three times. Well, she has retaliate. Yeah, we don't want to run into retaliate. OK, second action, engage a net. Third action, evade a net. Okay, let's burn the watch this. And we'll check in Word of Protection. Okay, so we're going to be at three, four, five versus four. Tight. Yep, we fail. Okay. Last action, blast the net at five versus four. Also a failure, so she retaliates. Let's give that there. Okay, so that ends our turns. Okay, beginning of the enemy phase. Annette triggers. So let's see if we get some witches. No, no, no. Okay, so instead she readies. Okay, so she attacks Jenny. Okay. No other baddies. Okay, so now we get cards and resources. Oh, I should have committed that to Jenny's last test there. Silly me. Okay, so she draws a new hand and gets a resource. She gets a card and, a re and two resources. Okay, that ends the turn. And at the end of the turn, there's one witch at... There is one witch at the witch's circle. So we put a doom at the end of the turn. Okay, then at the start of the turn, we go to nine doom out of 12. Running out of time here. What do we got? Bedeviled. Oh, oh, that's awful. That is awful. Then you can't even shoot. And ancient evil. So this is going to be the last turn. Yeah, because now we're at ten. All right, so we got to find a way to do either eight damage to a net or gets four clues. All right, so the four clues thing, ironically, is probably more likely to happen. Yeah, because Jenny's kind of not feeling so good right now. All right, so let's look for clues. We'll start with, um, we'll see if what Patrice can do here. All right, first action, we are at, so if we search for clues with um, six cents, we're gonna be at five versus three. Ironically, we wanna fail one of them. Let's see, we've got prophecy. We wanna fail one of them by one so that we can get the, what, look what I found. 
Okay, so we'll we'll see how we do. Five versus three. Hopefully we'll get a minus three. Wow, that's a super success. Don't want that. Alright, so we get a clue and we'll shuffle some stuff in. Let's see here. I guess we shuffle in everything but the improvised weapon that we... Oh, winging it! Yeah, we'll keep the winging it in the discard pile. Okay, that was first action. Second action, let's use winging it. Okay, so we're going to be at two versus two. Hmm. Now's a good time to use Prophecy. So we're at 5 versus 2. And Jenny can help pitch in the well-connected. 5 versus 2. 6 versus 2. Success, we get two clues. Okay. So that was second action. Shuffle that back in. Okay, there is one clue left. Okay, so now we're going to use six cents once more. We're going to use the violin to get another card. Okay, so that'll help us. No, it won't actually. We need willpower. Okay, so we'll use six cents. We're going to be at five versus three. So we'll make this go up to six versus three. Uh, Jenny can make that go to seven versus three. Success. So we're going to get the last clue and we're going to advance. All right, we made it, barely. Okay, what do we got here? A circle undone. If you advance by discovering all of the clues in the witch's circle, which we did, a loud crack echoes throughout the woods as you break the circle and reverse the, wis reverse the witch's spell. No, they have broken the ritual, one of the witches screams as the spell's energy backfires. White hot lightning strikes the center of the field, sending dirt and debris flying in every direction. You duck for cover. Resolution 2. Whew, so that was really close. We were done. This was the last turn. So we're running into problems with lots of treacheries, and I think I need to get Jenny's, um, Jenny's checks a little higher in order to more reliably take things down. Uh, Patrice was actually uh, humming along pretty well. Um, didn't have to like spend a lot of actions drawing cards or taking resources, which is probably, uh, probably her main benefit. All right, so let's head over to Resolution 2 and see what happens here. Okay. With the spell broken, the, hood, the hooded figures turn their attention to you. More of them emerge from the tree line, eager to take vengeance upon you for destroying their plans. Interloper, one of them calls you, pulling off her hood and pointing a gnarled wooden rod in your direction. Her bright red hair glows in the firelight, embers dancing about her extended hand. You will not escape this time, she cries, prepared to strike you down. Stop. The leader of the coven yells in a commanding voice, holding up her hand. The red-haired accuser stops in her tracks, and there is a sudden stillness in the clearing around the circle. But High Priestess, the witch persists, they're the ones from before, the ones who interfered with our great work. The High Priestess place a ha places a hand on the red-haired witch's shoulder. As always, I admire your perseverance, sister, but I do not believe these are the ones you speak of. The, the red-haired witch lowers her rod as the High Priestess approaches you, her arms crossed. She watches you with a hard glare, her gaze never straying far. I am Annette, and these are my sisters, she says. Tell me, who are you, and why are you here? Uh, Patrice explains how she awoke in the woods. Um, and I guess Jenny also adds that she was attacked by terrible creatures. And they both explain how they came to the center of this circle in order to break the spell surrounding the woods. Annette's eyes narrow as she hears your story. That is impossible. The circle was closed. None could enter the woods while we were completing our spell. You must go at once. This is not your place. But High Priestess, the red-haired witch exclaims, only to be interrupted by Annette's gaze, the two lock eyes, a battle of wills that quickly proves Annette victorious. Stand down, Aaron, Annette says with a firm motherly tone, as though admonishing a child. She turns her attention back to you as the witch named Aaron lowers her head in defeat. Go. You've broken the spell just as you desired. You can leave the woods now, but I give you one final warning. Cross us again, and we will not be so merciful. You begin to protest, but before you are able to utter a single word, a dark gale snuffs out the fire at the center of the clearing. Shadows from beyond the tree line suddenly twist and coil into the clearing, tugging at the edges of the witch's cloaks. One by one, the shadows twist and pull each of the witches into the darkness beyond. In moments, they are gone. You are left with only the soft glow of moonlight to guide you home. Okay, so we made it. We broke the witch's spell, 
And it looks like we found a mesmerizing flute and a scrap of torn shadow, which will give us a bonus experience. And then we're going to earn some experience based on the victory points. Let's see, we got two for the witch's circle. Then we got one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to get a total of A experience, which is quite a lot, if I do say so myself, for a, uh, a first scenario. I'm so used to receiving like three. Okay, anything else? Let's see. Nope. All right, so that um, that got really dicey there for a while. Um, there was a big climax with all the uh, with all the doom showing up. Plus, those witches were showing up pretty constantly. Okay, so uh, I guess um, we've made it through this uh, first episode of uh, Hexbreaker, and uh, I invite you to see um, what happens in episode two. But until then, have a good night.